Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage park lighter, a flip top advertising lighter for Atlant Traffic Express Service. You guys know I am a huge fan of the Park Advertising Lighters, especially those with painted graphics as opposed to anodized or printed ones. This lighter does show plenty of blemishes, finish damage, finish loss, scuffs, scratches. You can see apparent there on the front of the lid. There are also some pretty good scratches on the back, especially the bottom case. Don't know if it was stored in a drawer with something, but I think that that has gone down to the base metal or at least is a pretty deep scratch into the plating. Hard to tell exactly how much damage has been done, but I don't think you could buff that out. So some blemishes, scratches, scuffs, plating loss, tarnish or corrosion. This lighter is marked Park Lighter, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, USA. Has a five barrel riveted hinge. The case lines up nice and flush. It's in very good condition. The damage or blemishes to the lighter are pretty much just aesthetic. Don't affect the function of the lighter any. And the painted graphic, while there may be some wear or minor paint loss, the paint is largely still present. It's a two color graphic, blue and yellow. A brushed finish front and back with the high polish along the spines top and bottom. The case and the lid are chrome plated brass. See the wear that is apparent and yet still in good clean condition. The insert is constructed of aluminum and is not marked. We had to clear the flint tube in this lighter. So it does spark, does have a flint in it. I believe it has the original wick and solid foam fuel cell. I say it's constructed of aluminum. Obviously the spring, I think that's heat treated steel. The file wheel is going to be a different material, but most of the rest of it is aluminum. Noting also the plastic flint spring screw. Not uncommon for park lighters of that era. I would prefer that the insert was marked, but not much I can do about that. It's a nice painted graphic lighter, as I said, with a brush chrome finish. I did a Google search for Atlant Traffic Express Service and came up with a few different entries. One that talked about a company that was registered in New York in the 1980s. Some other 
references to companies in America in legal cases. There was an article from the New York Times in 1964 that talked about this company without the inclusion of Inc. or Incorporated or LTD for Limited. So I'm not sure if that company is the same company. I think it's probably likely that the company evolved. There were references to Australia and New Zealand in the 1950s and 60s. So maybe the name of the company had to change slightly as legal precedent or the country that they were doing business in. Those requirements might have changed. Either way, I don't know for sure that this company is still in business, although there is a company called Atlant Traffic Express Service Incorporated, still in business in New York, according to Google, and has been for some 39 years. So obviously, if that is the company or a spinoff of the company that this lighter was advertising, then that came about later. There were other references in the early 1970s with some legal cases. And it's a little bit confusing to me because Atlant traffic, and you can see on some photos for ships that this company operated in the 1960s or 70s, say on the bow of the ship Atlantic Ocean, but I don't believe that New Zealand or Australia either one are in the Atlantic Ocean. I think they're in the Pacific. So maybe the company started its trade in the Atlantic Ocean, thereby getting its name and then branched out at a later date to carry cargo or whatever else to other places around the world. I think these were big cargo ships. I don't know if that was before the advent of container ships or not, but a nice advertising lighter this is four that I currently have with the painted graphics, but they are all up for sale, and this one will be for sale soon. The other three are already listed on eBay in our dependableflame.com eBay store, and this one will be there soon, and obviously because of the wear and blemishes on this lighter, it will probably not be listed at quite the dollar value that the other three are. Make sure you check it out. Be a nice lighter for somebody to add to their collection, park collector or not. Until next time.